Hi folks, my name is Tomas, I'm your wine tuber, and today I'm gonna to talk about the top seven wine mates. So let's get started. Myth number one, folks, wine gets better with age. Not necessarily. Approximately 90% of the wine that you can find on the shelf should be consumed within two to three years. Some of them even sooner. So if you're looking for a really good bottle of wine that you can keep in your cellar for the next five, 15 years, the first thing you should look for is definitely a good producer. This is very, very important. The other thing is a good vintage, like for example, 2016 in Bordeaux. The best wines for aging are definitely sweet wines, all full body reds, like Amarone or Barolo. Then if you're looking for some white, white burgundy or fine Riesling, because Riesling can age actually for decades. The most important part, folks, is try to do your shopping in specialized wine merchants, like the corkscrew, because there's always someone that you can help you with. Myth number two, folks, why the screw cups are cheap or lower in quality? Absolutely not. Screw cup wine was invented in 1973 in Australia. Today, majority of New World wines are with the screw cups. Like for example, in New Zealand, 90% of the wine produced in this country are under screw cup. Imagine you're going for a picnic or barbecue and you forgot your corkscrew. What you should do? Get a bottle with a screw cup, like this one. This one is 43 euro in retail and it's absolutely amazing. ABC. Anything but Chardonnay, this is myth number three, folks. I still have a lot of customers who are saying, I don't like Chardonnay. Like, well, you probably had some experience of Chardonnay from warmer climates, like maybe Australia or Napa Valley in California, because those wines are normally lower in acidity, high in alcohol, really complex and full of tropical notes, like for example, pineapple. If you're looking for fresh, crisp and delicious bottle of Chardonnay that you're gonna love it, you should definitely try at least once in your life Chablis or, which is I personally really like, bottle of champagne called Blanc de Blanc. This is 100% Chardonnay and the wine is absolutely amazing. Let's move on to myth number four that all Riesling are sweet. Absolutely not. If you remember early 90s and wine called Blue Noon or Black Tower, that's why this made it still in the air. If you're looking for a bone dry Riesling, especially from Germany, look forward to that you can find on the back or sometimes on the front label. The other fantastic example of dry Riesling you can find in Australia or Alsace region in France. Just to let you know that you can make sweet wine or dry wine from any grapes, could be Sauvignon Blanc, Chardonnay or Riesling. The key thing is, if you produce the wine and you stop the fermentation a little bit earlier, that means you have residual sugar and your wine is a little bit sweeter. Myth number five, sulfites give you a headache. Not necessarily, folks. So, there's two types of sulfites, natural one, which is they're produced during the fermentation or added to the wine to preserve the freshness and protect the wine from oxidation. It's very, very important. So if you have a headache after drinking a wine, that's probably because you drank too much, or you drank wine in lower quality, or you haven't drank enough water, that means your body gets dehydrated. Some people also might have a headache because they're drinking full body red wines full of tannins, and they also cause headaches. So if you're allergic to sulfites for some reasons, you should definitely avoid sweet wines and the white wines because those two wines have the biggest amount of sulfites. If you really want to have a glass of wine, definitely highly recommend a glass of red because the red wines have the lowest amount of sulfites. All sparkling wines are champagne? Unfortunately not. So, if you have a glass of champagne, that means your wine has to be produced in Champagne region in France only. If you having a glass of Cava, that means you're having a sparkling wine produced in Spain. If you're having a glass of Prosecco, 
that means you having a sparkling wine produced in Italy because every single champagne is a sparkling wine but not every single sparkling wine is champagne Is Chablis or Sancerre the grape variety? No, Chablis and Sancerre are the names of the villages and also name of the appellations in France. Each appellation allows you to use specific grape variety. So when you have a glass of Chablis, that means you have a glass of Chardonnay only. If you have a glass of Sancerre, that means you're drinking Sauvignon Blanc. There is also Sansa Red and Sansa Rosé and those wines produced from Pinot Noir and that was the myth number 7 folks. Still watching? That means now you're the wine expert and you know all the most common wine myths. So thank you very much for that. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time.